Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. We are back here in Shadow Kingdom uh, for some more Survival Towny. And uh, don't worry if the intro confused you, we are still here with Major Graft. Yes, thanks to our good friend Reeps, uh, who has helped us out with some uh, new uh, graphics, a new logo and a new intro. Uh, we have a fancy new look for the channel. So guys, uh, let me know if you think it's an improvement. I think it is. I think it looks wicked. Uh, really happy. Thanks, Reeps. Uh, but guys, let's get on with the episode. So here we are at Town Spawn and we are going to have a little wander around. And oh, oh, hello. What's this? Cake? Someone seems to be leaving a trail here, some uh, bread crumbs or well, I should probably say cake crumbs, shouldn't I? Look, there's, there's more. This is weird. I think folks, we are going to have to investigate what's going on here. There is something fishy going on. There's more. Look, they're, they're everywhere. This is crazy. I mean, apart from anything, who would waste that amount of cake? What a lot of effort just to annoy me in the monolith. There's anything here? No, no, right? Weird, we need evidence. I saw someone, I am sure I saw someone. Right, where did they go? Let's find them, this is ridiculous. There must be some clues around here somewhere. Are they around here? Come on, where are you? Where did you go? No, not up here. Right, let's let's look down. They, they must be they must be down. Come on, let's have a look down the stairs. No, ah, oh, where did they go? I'm sure I saw someone here. Here we go. Let's go down the elevator. Are they here? Are they here? Uh, I can't see anything. And oh, there. Who's that? Borrow? What on earth is Borrow doing here? Well, apparently Borrow saw me asking about cake and came to investigate as well. So not only do we have Borrow, we also have Faddy as well. Uh, and I don't know whether I should be suspicious. Are they innocent bystanders or are they in on it? I can't quite tell, but they're definitely on the suspect list for now. But let's see if they give anything away. Okay, seriously, things are getting weirder. We now have somehow swapped cake for a cat. How is that even possible? Something strange is going on. What is going on? Anything else weird? No. Right, fine. Seriously, we have got to figure out who is doing this and we have got to do something about it. I will not have the temple of the monolith desecrated in such flagrant fashion. I am disgusted. Who dare? Ooh. Right, fine. Uh, forget it. I am no longer Major Graft. I am now Detective Graft. The cat is called Cake. Look, it's a cat called Cake. I want to keep him now. So I've been given this screenshot by Borrow, and I don't know if I can trust them, but apparently this is evidence of the culprit. Now, uh, suspiciously, Borrow has blurred the name out, which means Borrow knows who it is, but isn't telling me who it is, which, frankly, is not on. Okay, okay, that's enough of the shenanigans. Shenanigans, that's a hard word to say. Shenanigans for now. We have been working a little bit on the staircase here. It's getting up to scratch but I want to start laying out some bigger plans so the plan for today is to make more plans we're going to be wireframing out everything that's going to be happening on this front set of steps here so by the end of the episode we should see some great things appearing from nothingness so stay tuned for that it's that time again folks yes I have once more had absolute disastrous times in the nether lost all of my armor and seriously need to get some back so we are again here with lots of keys and hoping that this time we're gonna pull some good stuff so we've got 65 normal vote crate keys and also two end crate keys uh, so hopefully we can at least get back to two pieces of end uh, end of forged armor hey you never know we might even get more but let's give it a go so let's see what happens we're starting off with sponge boring block of diamond Oak logs, come on, white wall, this is rubbish, blue ice, cobblestone, come on, books, block of iron, at least give me some money, come on, saddle, 
Oak Log, 500, 500 is not bad, Sponge again, Bottle of Enchanting, Block of Emerald, 100, come on, we want the big ones, 500, that's good, 100, now we're getting there, come on, give us a few 5,000 ones, that would be fantastic, we are, oh, come on, 500, 5,000, yes, there we go, give us one more of them, it would be brilliant, come on, let's keep it going, maybe an end crate, there's a thousand, that's good, give me an end key, give me an end key, come on, 30 more to go, no more room, I'll be back in a second, and here we go, 30 more, let's go, books, uh, more enchantments, oak logs, white wool, come on, it's all getting boring again, cobblestone, 5,000, yes, come on, we are now well near 12,000, maybe more, let's keep going, ooh, a fly, fly feather, that's good, uh, another chest plate, and... More MMO experience, 500, that's good, we're getting plenty of cash. Vote tokens, nice. Crossbow, still no keys, this is a bit pants, isn't it? Last four, here we go. Three, two, one, and we're all out. Well, that wasn't too bad, I think we've got plenty of money, I will add that up later. But here it is, the, the big ones, the ones we really want to come off the way we want them to. Let's have a look what's in here. A lot of this stuff you just really don't need. Dragon head, meh, chorus flower, meh, end rods, meh. Well, I suppose decoratively, not bad. What we want are these again, so let's try it. Come on, two keys, let's see what we get. Here's number one. What do we get? What do we get? We get... End rods. Ugh. Okay, last chance. Come on. Here we go. One more end, end key. It's all on this one. Come on. Give us any piece of any. I don't care what it is. I just want a piece of armor. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. 64 obsidian. Well, that sucks. Well, I was innocently filling in my uh, steps here and suddenly found we have yet another gift from our mysterious Keiko, and I think I may have got this all wrong. I thought they were trolling. Well, if they're trolling, they are the most nice, kind, generous trolls of all time, because they keep giving me nice things. Look, lots of cake, the cake bandit. See, I got cake, and then I got a cat, and now I've got a big cake-shaped heart. Uh, maybe we should call them the benefactor, uh, this uh, mysterious cake bandit. Uh, and hopefully they'll keep leaving us more nice things. Well, here we go, folks. It might not look like much, but I have been busy wireframing here and we have got some ideas laid down and I've decided that our monolith is going to be uh, an arboretum. It's going to be full of fantastical, uh, brilliant... Uh, <laughs> modest, aren't I? Uh, brilliant uh, handmade trees like our uh, palm trees over here. And this is what most of these uh, are going to be when they are finished. They are... Uh, stacks of wool at the moment, but we're going to have these uh, light green trees I think are going to be like really nice tall thin poplars uh, And then I'm gonna have some more spruce like trees here in, in these uh, Diagonals uh, and then on these two corners here. We've got two different ideas uh, Here is going to be a multi-layered uh, sort of market area and we're gonna have a great big giant oak uh, in the middle of this uh, upper circle and then we'll have uh, some steps coming down to these different layers of circles and then off and down onto the rest of the monolith. So that's going to be a little uh, market stall area and then as you can see other on the other end it's really interesting isn't it? It's a box on a box. Well it's going to be more than that soon. Uh, this will be, uh, I'm going to be building a uh, I suppose like a Roman baths almost. I'm gonna have a bathhouse here. Uh, I thought that would be a, a funky addition to this side of the monolith. So by the time we've got that, all those trees done and the market done, and we're, we're making good headway on this uh, plot here as well, this front side of the, uh, uh, the town is gonna be looking fantastic. So hopefully we'll get some more progress on that in the next episode. It's definitely time for a change of scenery from the monolith, so we are here for another towny tour, and this time we are visiting Palsbury. Palsbury? Palsbury? I don't know. I'm going with Palsbury. Why not? Sounds funky. So, let's check it out. Let's see what amazing work is being done here. And before we go into details, 
Look at this glorious sunrise over this fantastic medieval castle. I think that may be my favourite castle on uh, T4 so far. It is brilliant, but we've got to get into some details because there is an enormous amount of detail in this build. It is glorious. But before we start walking around, let's check on who's involved. So, T, Palsbury, let's get the deets. Here we go. So, Baron Von Laurel uh, is the, uh, the mayor with help from Lil Pank, Serentegra, Kelsey Cal, Showalter MC, and 26 residents in total. It's a good, strong town. Also part of our wonderful celestial nation, uh, which I like to see. But that's fantastic. With that said, let us get and see around this place because it's gorgeous. And definitely, I had to do this one with shaders because I think you will agree. Doesn't the natural sunlight just make this place look fantastic? It is beautiful. I love everything about this. Uh, as, as far as medieval towns go, it is done so well. The little uh, stables, the, the, the way this is all laid out. Obviously still a work in progress, but uh, they've come on quite a long way. Got a lot of little blacksmiths here with the, the fire going, uh, all the details. Uh, fantastic there and I love this set out. I love the way that they are using the terrain naturally I know I bang on about this all the time but this lovely stone path into the wooden steps up to this main uh, entrance which is a huge entrance it really feels grand obviously they're still working on the exterior haven't got to the interiors yet but this fascinates me in terms of its shapes and its layout um, it's not just a box you know so many buildings even bigger buildings are just boxes but this is uh, obviously builders with some real creativity some of these towers go from floor level all the way up and then there are these different tiers and different levels here that make it feel really alive and vibrant and different and uh, definitely i might be nicking this idea for myself i don't do this but this this arched overhang uh, here uh, on the on the upper half of this uh, tower is I, I know I'm picking on really weird little details but lovely I like that because it's something that I wouldn't think of doing myself but what is good is this is clearly someone or a group of people with good understanding of how a real medieval town would work uh, they have these uh, wooden uh, buildings and structures on top of the uh, the ramparts uh, here um, uh, which feel really realistic and as well you'll see these buildings built into the wall uh, which work really well uh, very often you'd get these uh, I think I think they're called uh, bardings a bit more when they're not buildings they're just uh, I think we might see it around the back side a bit better here um, where they build extra on top of the stone walls there's these wooden uh, extra uh, bits to them. It looks fantastic. I know I'm whizzing around like a madman looking at this, but there are so many things to see and so little time. But uh, that is a gorgeous castle. I love all the details, the the roofs, uh, the 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 uh, flags and everything is gorgeous. And I like how you've got these different entrances of different sizes. Um, a little fantasy, you probably wouldn't get that in a real uh, castle but it works fantastically for linking it to the rest uh, which is what we're going to do next is we're going to have a wander through the town and there's a real real coherence to this place all of the builds are styled the same way they are beautifully built but with all these little personal details around them so you can see this one's got the the moose rooms um, a lot of them, if they are owned, they have signs outside saying whose they are. So I will try and spot them on some of them as we go past. There it is. There it is. You see? Look, 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 look. Home of Laurel. The mayor's house. Definitely grand enough to be a mayor's house, isn't it? Uh, I like the cross-section uh, roofs there as well and the good detail of the, the chimneys. Uh, again, understanding of proper uh, architecture, the chimney goes above the roof line because obviously if you had smoke coming from down here, it could burn down your roof. So uh, good realism there, which really helps make this place feel super alive and attention to detail and lovely uh, uh, natural fountain here, not uh, heavily architectural, very natural rough edges I like that that's really nice normally I'm, I'm very uh, build a brick wall and make it look very um, 
uh, masoned but that that's that's wonderful i love that style it's very nice and these paths are great uh, you'd see these a lot uh, over in the creative server when people have put all this effort into uh, putting lots of different block textures and colors into their paths to make them feel more interesting home of mox and etten uh, you see there's a, a more humble abode isn't it with a little a uh, little pond uh, i've got to f f feel that should have some fish in it um uh, if you're watching this uh, definitely uh moxon stick some fish in your pond that would be wonderful and a little uh, field in the back I, I like these lights as well um i need more stuff like this in my town i can't quite figure out what style they should be because obviously they can't be medieval like that but they do uh, really light this place up well uh, if you come here at night time as well uh, although uh, you'll see as we look above the roof line all of these this little village outside of the castle is all exactly the same theme which is fantastically done they're all different every single one. i can't find uh, many if any that are um clones of one another They're, they've all got little subtleties of their own which is wonderful attention to detail uh ashley and ohana there uh, with the little uh, cow shed on the back and oh who we got here oh we've got a couple of players uh, shawnee joy lil pank and show alter hey and who's that ashlyn ashlyn hey everyone's here that's fantastic let's see if we can get away from them oh they're all fishing say hi guys <laughs> oh, nobody's waving. They're too busy fishing. Again, now this is the, the kind of thing that I would normally do. Uh, this uh, fountain in the middle of the village is really, really nicely done there. Um, uh, good fitting with the architectural style of the whole village. And this, again, the whole village uh, in the terrain. No, no flat squares here, which I love. I really think that um, works well. I, obviously... Obviously, the key to making a really vibrant uh, town uh, must be uh, the flowers, because all the towns that I've seen so far that I've really loved the most are absolutely packed with flowers everywhere. Maybe we should get more flowers up onto the monolith and learn a lesson from that. Ooh, more water features. This time a, a natural... Hey, we've got some fish. Oh, don't you love it? Doesn't that add so much to it when you have those little jumping fish in the, the ponds that's that's wonderful that's really nice uh, and yeah I think we've seen most of it now uh, we have to point out um, these bridges as well they need a path here obviously they're gonna uh, make a path I'm sure eventually but these grand great big uh, stone bridges suggest something important over here so I wonder whose house uh, this is does it say does it say oh I can't find where the sign is is there a sign is there a sign? Oh, I don't know. Whose house am I at? Oh, maybe it's Sarintegra's. Uh, obviously enjoying a bit of a fish uh, here out on the dock. You see what I mean about everything being uh, uh, different for each house? This lovely little pier and dock. And I love how even though uh, it's clearly uh, really heavily about the build style in this town, everyone's using it functionally as well. You know, if someone's built a dock on their house, it's because they intend to go and fish off it, which is wonderful. Function and form meeting together nicely. Obviously, we're at the edges of the town now as sunset uh, arrives, and so there are builds uh, in progress here. And uh, all these paths and this lovely... Um, is this a gatehouse? We'll have to check when we go over it. Or is this just a very elaborate uh, bridge? Uh, it's wonderfully made, though. It's a... a, a oh, yes. It's not a gatehouse, it's a gate uh, uh, through to let this water through. And all the bridges are slightly different, which is wonderful. Um, and this is a, ooh, this is a, a big... Is this one house or two houses? Ooh, glitch there a bit. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, Janssen's house and soccer man. Uh, maybe these guys are friends. Uh, there's a lovely little porch here, I can imagine. Uh, relaxing here in the evening as the sun goes down over there uh, having a wee uh, a wee evening drink and maybe a barbecue wouldn't that be lovely as the sun sets and this is where we get to see this place lit up and i was talking about the lighting uh, uh, let's have a look at this from a distance uh, with the moonlight behind us because i think the lighting 
uh, it's done really well here because uh, some places you'll see are absolutely lit up everywhere. There's lights hidden under every single flipping carpet block and behind every wall and everything's lit up. And this is wonderful because it feels lit up naturally. There's only lights where you would expect to see lights in windows, uh, along the paths. You see, the castle isn't as lit up because obviously there wouldn't be a ton of light sources coming out of that very heavily fortified uh, uh, stone building. Uh, so wonderful, wonderful build. Uh, really nice. Uh, before we finish the episode, let's just uh, swap back to daytime and have one last look at it in the light from a distance because uh, it's definitely worth looking at. I, I, I know I was speaking to Laurel earlier and they were saying the, the docks here is a massive work in progress. It's what they've been doing recently. So I am thoroughly expecting next time we visit, we'll probably see some huge ships in the dock and lots of life and vibrancy in this dock area. Cannot wait to see uh, what they do with it. This is obviously uh, still uh, very heavily in process. There's some interesting holes in the hillside here as well. I wonder what they're doing there, whether that's going to be a, a mine or something. I don't know. Well, hey, we'll come back uh, in a few weeks or a few months, however long it takes, and we'll see what happens next. But Laurel and the gang, uh, well done. One of my favourite towns so far, hands down. Thanks for letting us have a look and keep it up. Before we move on, I found out something slightly important that I wanted to share with you guys about the townie tour that we've just seen. The builds actually weren't designed by the members of the town. It's fantastic work building them and reproducing them, but they're actually the work of another Minecraft YouTuber called Blue Nerd, who you can check out here. This is their channel. Fantastic work. So yeah, go check him out. Well, that's it for now, folks. That's another episode done. Don't forget, hit that like button if you've enjoyed the content. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, uh, we are doing great uh, so far. And I want to really push on to that big 500 mark soon. So get in on the action while it's still early. So uh, that's it for now, folks. And we'll see you in the next one.